Well, remember my rule number one. Respect, respect the presenter. Even if I'm not the one who's up here presenting, uh, every day you will have one of your teammates is going to be your presenter. And it's very important that we respect the presentation. Okay? I'll take these up to make sure that we have a, a reference to it. All right. Thank you very much. Everybody got one? Excellent. Yes, I do. Um, all right. So I would like for us to make sure that we are. Thank you. I would like for us to make sure that we are serious and, and really following the directions, okay, because it's extremely, extremely important to do so. All right, so if I can get a volunteer to just read out loud all of the ingredients that we are using today. Uh, Cheyenne. That's what it means is an, an example uh, in Latin. And we have something called Polnars. That's the name brand. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have all of these ingredients um, except for uh, the frozen strawberries. I think we have like a, a strawberry uh, jam. What's your question, Cheyenne? What about the ice? Um, we're going to use the, uh, there's some ice that comes out of this, this freezer oh. um, and out of these refrigerators. So we'll, we'll have a, a, a bucket of that. Yes? Um, thank you for asking. I will uh, ask you to read. Yes, let me get you to read uh, step one, just one. Direction number one. Place all of the ingredients in a blender. Okay. So we have uh, one, two, we have three blenders that we're going to use today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have you all in teams from where you're sitting. And where you are sitting, you're going to choose each role. Now we're going to break this down today. In the future, all of you will be in the kitchen working together. But for today, we're going to break it down role by role. I have people talking on top. All right. Uh, so today we're going to break it down roll by roll and make sure that everybody knows what that roll is, okay, while we're making the recipe, all right? All right, so uh, let me hear step two. Let me hear step two, please, Zion. Blend until it's smooth, about three to four minutes or until most of the spots, spots have disappeared. You may choose to add ice to it for better Consistency. Say it like you mean it, not consistency. Consistency. Now we go. All right, so what happens if you add more ice cubes? What do you think will, ha will happen if you add more ice cubes? That's all for ready. You get smoother. Somewhat. If you add more ice, it may get smoother. Or, uh, let's see here, who have not heard from today? Deshaun. Chunky. It might get a little chunky. It might get, like, not as smooth. It might get a little, you know, like you said, chunky. Uh, yes, I thank you. I think if you add more ice, it's going get watery. It'll get watery. Okay, because if you add more water, maybe it will get more watery. But if you add more ice cubes, they're in the form of, they're in a solid form. So, Raheem, what do you think? I think it's colder. Colder, it will get colder. We're going to have uh, frozen smoothies, and so yes, if you add ice, it will get colder. Uh, but we're talking about the consistency, which is kind of like the texture, which is how it feels in the cup. Yes. It'll, it'll be more um, it'll be like not thin. It's thicker. It is thicker. You had it. That's exactly right. If you add more ice cubes, 
because of the solids, it will get thicker, okay? All right, so we're going to try that out today uh, at the end of the class, but I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that following the instructions step by step is, is key to success in this classroom, okay? So, the other key to the success in this classroom is making sure that you are aware of each step. So please tell me what you believe to be step one. Let me see some hands. Let me see some hands. What do you believe is step one? Thank you, I can't. Wash your hands. That's what we're about to do. We're about to do. We're about to wash our hands. Now everybody is going to get a chance to wash their hands before we cook and sample, but I want to make sure that you all understand why it's important to wash your hands, okay? Uh, why do you think that is, Tiara? Because you have germs and bacteria on your fingers. Germs and bacteria on your fingers. On your fingers. At all times. Yes, indeed. I'm telling you. Are there any other points? Are there any other parts? Are there any other parts? Are there any other points that you want to make about washing your hands before we do this experiment? Yes, I take it. One thing I say is to wash your hands with warm